laying on your back, arms can be down by your side. And just take a moment to scan your body from head to toe. Notice how your body is feeling. And then send your awareness to your breath. Notice the natural inhales and exhales. Notice how your chest and your belly rises and falls. And then send your awareness to your chest and more specifically to your heart. Today we're going to be focusing on the heart chakra. the heart chakra is all about relationships, the relationship with yourself, the relationship you have with others. It also governs compassion, empathy, love and abundance. When your heart chakra is in balance, there's an inner light and a feeling of calm and peace. You are receptive to love and it's easy to give. You are able to look at situations from all sides. when your heart chakra is out of balance, you might feel attachment. You might feel pain mentally, physically, or emotionally. There might be an aggressiveness or stubbornness towards others, maybe distrust distrusting yourself, distrusting others. So take a moment to notice your heart chakra. Notice if you feel like it's in balance or out of balance. And throughout your practice today, keep sending your awareness and your attention to your heart chakra. See if you can, can get it to more of an alignment than where it is right now. When you're ready, you can slowly draw your knees in towards your chest, wrapping your arms around your shins. Find a gentle rock from side to side, massage your spine. Maybe shake your head no gently to release any tension in your neck. If you want to hold on to your knees and circle your knees wide and then back together again. And then when you're ready, roll towards one side. Let your arms do the work. Go ahead and push yourself up into a comfortable seated position. We're going to start with some alternating nostril breathing. So you're going to take your peace fingers and place them at your temple or your, your third eye. And then you're going to bring your thumb at your, on your right nostril. You're going to inhale through the left. 
ahead and use your ring finger to plug your left nostril, release your right, and then exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Plug your right nostril, release your left, exhale through your left. Again, inhale through your left. Plug, release your right, exhale through your right. Go a few more like this, inhaling through your right. Plug, release, and exhale through your left. Just go at your own pace. See how long you can make your inhales and how long you can make your exhales. Maybe close your eyes or keep your gaze soft. And go one more full round. And then when you're done with your full round, you can place your hands on your lap. Palms can face up if you want to receive a little extra energy. Palms can face down if you want to receive some grounding energy. And just pause for a minute. Notice how you feel. Continue to inhale and exhale through your nose. Now connecting to your ujjayi breath. Good. And then bring your hands to heart center. Turn your fingertips to face forward. You're going to inhale, round your spine, shoot your arms forward, let your head relax. And then exhale, you're going to open your arms towards the side, arch your spine. And then exhale, contract your arms back together. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, contract, pull your fingers forward. Inhale, arch your spine, arms come towards the side. Exhale, contract, bring your fingertips to touch. And then inhale, bring your hands back to center. Again, exhale, contract, shoot your fingertips forward. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, contract, bring your fingertips to touch. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center. And go two more rounds on your own, feeling your breath as you contract and stretch the backs of your shoulders, and then you inhale as you arch your heart up towards the ceiling. And then when you're done with your two rounds, you can place your hands on your lap. Palms rest on your lap, they can face up or down, just notice how you feel now. And then when you're ready, you can blink your eyes open, walk forward into a tabletop position. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Allow the knees to fall underneath your hips. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly down, look up. Stay here and take a few breaths. Grip your fingertips into your mat. <laughs> Can you see my cats flying behind me? <laughs> oh, there they go. And then uh, start to press your shoulders farther down your back. Imagine you could slide your wrists all the way towards your knees. Find that that energy of pulling your wrists back will give you a little bit more lift of your shoulders and your chest. One more inhale. Exhale, cat pose. Round your spine. Press your hands into your mat. Let your head relax. Scoop your tailbone under. Pull your shoulders apart. Just really let your head hang here. Good. See how the more you can press your hands into your mat, the more lift you'll find behind your shoulders. Inhale, cow pose. Draw off your belly down and look up. Exhale, cat pose. One more. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, neutral tabletop position. 
And then exhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Stay here and take a couple of breaths as you circle through your wrist. And then inhale, find stillness. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring your right arm underneath your left. Let your head and your cheek rest onto your mat. Keep your left arm bent at a 90 degree angle. Press your left hand into your mat as you twist to try and look up towards the ceiling. Pull your belly button in ever so slightly. Push your tailbone back behind you, find length. And then if you want from here to extend your arm back behind you for a little extra chest opener, or if you want to bring your hand on the small of your back, maybe wiggle your fingers all the way around to your inner thigh, whatever feels comfortable and most appropriate for you. One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly unwind back to your tabletop position. Pause for a moment. <clears throat> Notice how your body feels. And then inhale your left arm up. Take a couple circles in your wrist. Start to open up your forearms. Make sure you're going both directions. And then one more inhale. And then exhale, thread the needle. Bring your left arm underneath your right. Take a moment to find the push of your right hand, keeping your right elbow at a 90 degree angle. Imagine you could push your shoulders to the wall behind you. And then if you did so on the first side, you can open up your arm, place your hand on your back, or whatever variation you did before. With each inhale, pull your tailbone farther back behind you. With each exhale, try and twist just a little bit deeper. Hold for one more full breath. And then exhale, slowly come back into your neutral tabletop position. Inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale, hover your knees off of your mat. Stay here and breathe. Press your shoulders up towards the ceiling. Keep your knees hovering just about an inch off of your mat. And then you're going to inhale, step your right foot back. And then exhale, step your left foot back. Hold here and breathe. Press your fingertips into your mat. Pull your belly button in. Puff your shoulders up towards the ceiling. Inhale, step your right leg in. Hover your right knee off of your mat. Exhale, step your left knee in. Hover your knees off of your mat. And we'll march through that. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, left leg back. Inhale, right knee in. Exhale, left knee in. And again, inhale, right leg back. Exhale, left leg back. Last time, inhale, right leg in, exhale, left leg in, and then step back into your plank pose, push back into your downward facing dog. Enjoy this nice stretch. From here, if you want to bend your knees one at a time, you can. If you want to shake your head, no. Whatever feels comfortable for you, if you need to have a slight bend in your knees, you're also welcome to do that. Feel how you can press your hands deeper into your mat to help push your shoulders up towards your ears to find more length in your spine. Inhale, soften both knees, look forward. Exhale, slowly step all the way to the top of your mat into your forward fold. Let your head relax. Pour the weight a little bit more onto your toes rather than your heels. And then from here, if you want to hold on to the outsides of your elbows, you can. If you want to interlace your fingers for a chest expansion, you can. If you want to interlace your fingers at the nape of your neck to help pull the top of your head down, whatever variation feels comfortable for you. We'll take two more full ujjayi breaths. And then inhale, soften your arms, bend your knees. Exhale, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Let your head relax. Nice and smooth and controlled. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms high. Exhale, Samasthiti, bring your hands to heart center. Keep your eyes closed, and this time turn your palms to touch, to stack on top of one another, right onto your heart. And just feel the warmth of your palms against your chest or your shirt. Take a moment to set an intention, or maybe you feel like you want to dedicate your practice to someone. And if you
you want to keep your attention or your um, intention just on your heart chakra. Just a simple intention you can set. If you want to dedicate your practice towards someone, you can send them a little extra love and positive energy now. We'll seal our intention or dedication with a breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Slowly blink your eyes open. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms high. Exhale, baby back bend, squeeze your glutes. Pull your elbows wide and reach your chest up towards the ceiling. So sometimes when we go to back bend, we think about pressing our hips forward and reaching our chest back behind you. I actually want you to imagine you can turn like your nipples straight up towards the ceiling. And scoop your tails on under. Take one more deep breath here. And then stay through your exhale, see if you can get more length. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms high. Exhale, forward fold, lift your tailbone, and reach your head down, let your head relax. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins or your thighs, pause here and breathe. Anchor your shoulders down your back, pull your chin back like you're making a double chin, so the back of your neck feels nice and long. Zip your belly button in towards your spine. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, plank pose. Press your hands down and step your feet back. <clears throat> inhale, pull your shoulders forward past the line of your wrists. And then exhale, slowly lower your stomach all the way onto your mat. Untuck your toes. Inhale, cobra pose. Press your hands or your forearms underneath your elbows. Pinch your shoulders together and reach your chest forward. Now scoop your pelvis under to engage your lower abdominal, and you'll find a little bit more length in your low back. <clears throat> Reach your heart forward instead of your chin. Just make sure your neck stays nice and soft. You're looking just a couple feet in front of you. Maybe you can pinch your shoulders just a little farther together as you tuck your tailbone under just a little bit more. One more inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog, tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back. Good, pause here in your downward facing dog. Inhale, bend both knees, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, walk step or lightly hop to the top of your mat. We'll flow through that once more, a little bit faster. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep your arms high. Exhale, baby back bend. Squeeze your glutes. Reach your chest tall. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. Step your feet back. Inhale, pull your shoulders forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, uh, oh, sorry, inhale, sphinx pose. <clears throat> Pull your shoulders forward, pinch your elbows towards one another as well. One more inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Stay here for two breaths. Again, if you want to bend through your knees or just find stillness, whatever feels comfortable for you. Inhale, shift your shoulders forward into your plank position. Go ahead and drop your knees down for support. Um, we're going to take some circles in, with our, in our shoulders. So pull your shoulder blades up towards your, the tops of your shoulders, up towards your ears. Now roll your shoulders down your back. Pinch your shoulders together and then push the floor away to bring your shoulders back to neutral. Lift your shoulders towards your ears. Roll your shoulders back and down. Push your hands into your mat to lift your shoulders back to center. Three more on your own, rotating your shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down. And then when you're done with your three, just pause here and we'll reverse the direction. So first slide your shoulders as far down your back as you can. Pinch your shoulders together. Roll your shoulders forward and then push the floor away back to neutral. Pit, pull your shoulders down, pinch your shoulders together, roll your shoulders forward, and then go three more on your own. Notice how it feels doing your shoulder circles in this direction. Try not to drop your hips or have any bend of your elbows. 
only your shoulder blades move. You might feel some crunching, or you might feel that one direction is a little bit easier than the other, that's okay. And then when you're done with your third circle, just rest back into your child's pose. That can be a little intense for your shoulders. Let your child's pose be passive. Let your arms relax. One more inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your chest forward and back. Inhale, bend both knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, walk, step, or lightly hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Heel toe your toes to touch and leave just a sliver of space between your heels. Inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips down, reach your arms high. Pause here and take a few breaths. Feel how your shoulders can slide down your back as you zip your ribs together. Careful that we don't arch in our spine here. Take a peek down at your knees, make sure you, or your toes rather, make sure you can still see your toes. If your knees are too far forward, hiding your toes, just reach your hips back behind you. Good, stay here for your chair pose. Inhale your fingers back behind you, interlace, and then pull your chest forward as you reach your knuckles back behind you. Now keep your lower abdominals nice and braced. So sometimes we'll want to stick our tailbone out and get a really deep arch. I want you to find just the arch in your chest and your upper spine. So imagine, just like we did in our baby back bend standing, same thing here, tailbone stays tucked under, lower abdominals stay engaged, just focus on your upper spine. One more inhale. And then exhale, forward fold with chest expansion, keep your fingers interlaced, reach your arms overhead. Good, take a moment to remember what finger is on top. The next time we come into this posture, I'll want you to do the other arm on top. So just notice, most likely you'll do whatever feels most comfortable. So the next round, um, if you don't remember, do what feels natural and then switch. <laughs> One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly release your arms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. Step your feet back. Inhale, pull your shoulders forward. Exhale, chaturanga, hug your, hug your elbows in, hover off of your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Pause here and take two breaths. Release your, or lift your knees and shoulders, uh, oh my gosh, your knees and thighs off of your mat. Pinch your shoulders together and pull your chest forward, pull your navel in. One more, inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Press your hips back. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Curve and round your spine here and kiss your knees. Inhale, look forward in between your hands. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale, crescent and lunge. Sweep your arms high. Pause here and breathe. Push your left heel back behind you as you tuck your pelvis under. Relax your shoulders down your back. Extend your fingers straight towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, baby back bend from here. Lift your chest up. Try and get your nipples to the ceiling. Keep tucking your pelvis under. It's really easy to dump in your low back here, so make sure you're still finding lift in your spine. Ooh, falling over. One more inhale. And then exhale, warrior two. Adjust your left foot down. Reach your arms forward and back. Engage your inner thighs. Just spread your knees nice and wide. Right knee stacked directly over your ankle. Expand your fingers forward and back. Inhale, reverse warrior. Push your hips forward as you reach your right arm back behind you. Find a softness in your right shoulder and find more stretch and pull in your side body rather than lifting your arm towards your shoulder, uh, excuse me, your shoulder towards your ear to do the work. Find more length in your side body. One more inhale. And then exhale, extended side angle. You can bring your elbow onto your knee and reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. You can also bring your fingertips to your mat, or if you have a block, you can bring your hand onto your block. Wherever you are, push your arm and your leg in towards one another to help you twist over towards the side. See if you can, even if you want to, you, you literally use your hand to pull your ribs forward, you can do that as well.
Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through both legs, reach your right arm back behind you. Same thing as you found in reverse warrior, softening your right shoulder. Pull your right ribs up and over. Find a gentle touch of your left hand on your left leg. Lift up into your lower abdominals. One more inhale. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down into your low lunge. Place your left hand down. Inhale your right arm up towards the ceiling into your low lunge twist. Now anchor your shoulders down your back. Twist in your ribs as you look up towards your right fingers. One more inhale. And then exhale, plank pose, your choice. You can move through your flow or press straight back into your downward facing dog. Whatever feels most appropriate for you, downward facing dog is where we meet. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, curve and round your spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Squeeze your arms high. Pause here and breathe. Same thing as you found before. Push your right heel back. Scoot your tailbone under. Find length in your spine as your shoulders fall heavy down your back. Inhale. Exhale, baby back bend. Pull your chest up. Keep tucking your pelvis under. So some of us might not have a lot of back bend here because we're of the position our legs and our lower body is in. But keep finding length in your spine as you reach your heart up towards the ceiling. One more inhale. And then exhale, warrior two, stack your spine and then twist your legs. Squeeze your glutes to press your hips forward. Find an external rotation in your thighs. Bring the inseam of your pants forward. See if you can press a little bit more energy down into all four corners of your feet. Imagine your feet are like suction cups. That will release a little extra tension from your quads so you can sink a little deeper without gripping your legs so much. Inhale, reverse warrior. Push your hips forward as you reach your left arm back behind you. <clears throat> Continue to push your left knee forward as you stretch your left ribs up and over, finding a little bit more length. You can gently touch your right hand to either your calf or your shin or your thigh. Avoid putting pressure by your kneecap. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Legs stay relatively the same as you reach your arms to 12 and 6. Remember, you can bring your elbow onto your knee. You can place your hand, fingertips on your mat, or you can use your block if you want. From here, if you want to grab your left rib, and rotate your left ribs underneath your right, and then readjust your arm back towards the ceiling you can. Keep pushing the back of your arm and your leg towards one another to help you twist as well. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through both legs. Lift your left ribs up and over as you drop your tailbone down behind you. Your focus can be up towards your hands, straight forward, or maybe if you want to twist your focus down towards your right toes. One more inhale. And then exhale, low lunge twist, cartwheel your right hand down and reach your left arm high. Anchor your shoulders down your back, keep your hips square to the front as you twist and open up in your chest. One more inhale. And then exhale, plank pose. You can move through your flow or go straight to downward facing dog. Remember, in up dog, you want knees and thighs to be off of your mat. Strong push through your arms. And we'll flow through that twice more. Each time, we'll add on just a little bit more. Inhale, bend both knees, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, rock step, or lightly hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bring your toes to touch. Reach your arms high. Exhale, interlace your fingers for your chest expansion. Keep your lower abdominals tight. One more inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Keep your arms where they are. Inhale, halfway lift. Release your hands to pull your chest forward. Exhale, option to walk, step, or jump into your chaturanga. 
Try not to jump into your plank and then lower down. If you're choosing to jump, see if you can jump and land straight into your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. This time, exhale, slowly lower your stomach onto your mat. Place your forearms onto your mat. Tuck your toes. Exhale, dolphin pose. So you're going to keep your forearms on your mat and press back into your dolphin pose. If you want to walk your toes in just a little bit more, you're welcome to. If you have a block at home, you can place your palms on either side of your block. Whether you have your block or your hands on your mat, try and pull your thumbs closer towards one another so that you engage your shoulders. Lift your tailbone up and away from your chest. Good. One more inhale. And then exhale. You can transition into downward facing dog however you want. If you want to just simply press into your hands, you're pretty much there in downward facing dog. You might need to adjust a little bit. You can also step one hand and then the other, or you can lower back into your plank, press up onto your hands, and then push back. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curve your spine. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, reach your arms forward, almost like you're going to shift all the way into your right leg. And then exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, stay here. From here, I'm just going to turn to face the back for a second. So your, um, let me go this way. Your right arm is down, your left arm is up. Rotate your left palm so it faces back behind you, and bend your elbow to place your hand on your back. Some of us, we might be kind of high on our back. Some of us, we might be kind of low. Some of us, we can reach really far over. Just go to wherever feels comfortable for you. Just keep finding an openness in your shoulders. An extra uh, gold star if you can keep your shoulders rotated and actively pressing down your back instead of internally rotating and dumping your shoulder forward. Good. Now, if it's possible to bring your fingers all the way to the front of your inner thigh, go for it. And then inhale, reverse triangle. Try and keep your hand where it is so you find a nice stretch. And you might not be able to back bend or side bend as much, and that's okay. And if you can't grip, that's fine. Just keep your hand on your low back. One more inhale. And then exhale, one low lunge twist. Bring your left hand down here, right arm high. Now rotate onto the pinky side of your left foot and then reach your right arm back behind you and sink down into your hips. So your left foot or your right foot is pressing down, left leg is straight, and we're getting a little twist in our shoulders, reaching our fingertips back towards our left leg. One more inhale. And then exhale, cartwheel your right hand down. Step back into your plank, your choice. Move through your flow or straight to downward facing dog. Nice. Good. <clears throat> Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Pull your knee towards your nose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, baby back bend. Keep tucking your tailbone under. Inhale, lean forward. Pull your biceps towards your ears. Lean more into your left foot. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Pull your ribs back. Exhale, extended side angle. Pause here and breathe. Same thing. Anchor your shoulders down your back and then internally rotate your arm. Keep pressing your shoulder down as you bend in your elbow to place your hand on your low back. And again, some of us might be able to wiggle our fingers all the way around. Some of us might be able to lift higher or lower. Wherever you are, that's fine. Keep trying to pull your shoulder down so you can open in your chest. It's really easy to want to dump your shoulder forward. Keep maintaining the twist of your ribs. That will help you. And then if you can get your fingers all the way to your inner thigh, grab it. Inhale, reverse triangle, option to keep your fingers there. Maybe you want to hold on to your low back or go wherever 
you feel is comfortable. Keep squeezing your glutes to press your hips forward. One more inhale. And then exhale, low lunge, twist, cartwheel. Right hand down, left arm high. Inhale, turn your pinky toe of your right foot down. And then exhale, reach your left fingers back behind you towards your right foot. Left foot is flat. Keep lifting up in your chest. Core stays nice and engaged. One more inhale. And then exhale, plank pose. Cartwheel your left hand down. Step back your choice. Move through your flow or straight to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, bend both knees, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Walk, step, or lightly hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Heel toe your toes to touch. Inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips down. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind you. Puff up your chest. Stay for your inhale. Keep your core tight. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Oh, I forgot to tell you to switch sides. <laughs> so if you didn't already, switch your grip. Notice how um, that feels a little different for you to stretch your shoulders that way. Just slightly. And then slowly release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, walk, step, or jump back into your chaturanga. Mm -hmm. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, dolphin pose, lower down onto your forearms, tuck your toes, and press your hips back. And you can walk your finger, your knee, excuse me, your toes closer in. Keep pressing your forearms into your mat so your shoulders will puff up and squeeze your inner thighs together. If you feel like your head is touching the mat or close to the mat, try walking your feet closer so you can find more lift in your spine. Good. Good. Stay here for one more inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog, however you want to get there. If you want to just press into both hands to straighten both legs, you can. If you want to go one at a time, or you can shift into plank and then press back. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach high. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, airplane, or sorry, warrior three arms, reach forward. And then from here, you can shift forward onto your right foot to float your left leg into your warrior three. If you don't have space or you feel like it's more appropriate to reach your arms out towards the side, or you can reach your fingers down um, towards your left leg behind you. It's more of an airplane variation, whatever feels comfortable for you. Keep flexing in your left foot. Make sure your left hip put points down. Keep stretching your left heel back behind you and the crown of your head forward so you have one long line all the way through your body. One more inhale. And then exhale, warrior two. Slowly step your left foot back to cartwheel your arms open. Inhale, reverse warrior, pull your right knee forward. Exhale, extended side, ooh, falling over, extended side angle. From here, you have the option to come into your half bind. If you want to come into your full bind, your right arm will go underneath to grab your fingers. And I'll show you from the back. You'll reach underneath to grab your fingers. I'm going to scoot a little closer to the camera so you can see my shoulders. So sometimes what happens is we try, we grab a hold, but then we can't open up in our chest. So if you have a yoga strap and you're almost there, you can reach your yoga strap between your hands, but you want to keep the integrity of opening up your chest. So make sure you're still rolling your left shoulders and your left, your left shoulder and your left ribs on top of your right. Now go ahead and release your bottom arm. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through both, uh, both legs. If you can keep your hand on your low back, go for it. One more inhale. Exhale, low lunge, twist. Cartwheel your left hand down, right arm open. Inhale, spin onto your left foot. And then exhale, reach your arm down. Good. Inhale, bridge your hips up to reach your arms overhead. Find a nice length in your side body. Exhale, lower your hips, but don't let them touch your mat. Inhale, reach and bridge your hips up. Exhale, lower down. 
One more, inhale, bridge your hips, reach up. And then exhale, lower down. Twist into your plank. And then your choice, you can move through your flow or straight to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, warrior two. Or sorry, low lunge. Wow, my brain is moving too quickly. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, baby back bend, tap into your arms. Inhale, warrior three arms, lean forward. And then when you're ready, slowly shift and stand onto your left leg. Your choice, you can keep your arms there. You can reach your arms out towards the side or extend your fingertips down towards your right foot. Keep flexing your right foot and push your heel back behind you. Imagine your body can make a, the capital letter T. So the top of your head is in line with your heel. You're extending through the um, heel and your head, and you're pushing down into your left leg to find length here. One more inhale. And then exhale, warrior two, slowly step your right foot down and cast, cast, whoo, cartwheel your arms open. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Pause here and breathe. Go into your half bind if that feels comfortable. If you want to come into your full bind, go ahead. And again, you can use your straps behind your back if you feel like you're almost there but you need a little extra assistance. Remember, you want to roll your right shoulder now on top of your left. Careful that you're not pushing your butt behind you. So squeeze your glutes to press your pelvis forward the direction your belly button is facing. Good. Hold for one more full breath. And then inhale, release your bottom arm. Reverse triangle, straighten through both legs. Keep your left hand be or your right hand behind your back. And then exhale, low lunge twist, cartwheel your right hand down, left arm high. Inhale, spin your left, uh, your right foot down. Exhale, your left arm back behind you. Inhale, bridge your hips, open in your spine. Exhale, three, lower your hips back down. Inhale, reach, find a stretch in your ribs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rainbow your chest or rainbow your ribs. Exhale, lower down. One more, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down into your plank, untwist. And you can move through your flow or straight to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, plank pose, shift forward. Exhale, lower down onto your forearm. Take an inhale. Exhale, once more, dolphin pose. Walk your feet in just a little bit. Continue to press your hands down. Pull your elbows towards one another. Make sure your palms are flat on your mat unless you're turning your hands on your block. And then you're going to start to take some marches, very small marches. You'll step your right foot in towards your hand, left foot in. See how far you can walk your feet in, lifting up into your lower abdominals. And then you can take small steps back into your dolphin pose. So walk your toes in as best you can. Lift up in your hips, lift up into your lower abdominals, and then exhale, walk back. See if you can take the goal of marching in for four and out for four. In for four and out for four. Go through two more marches, two more like full sets of in and out, in and out. And then when you're done, you can rest into child's pose. Nice. Tiny little marches, even if they're like centimeters, that's fine. Keep pressing into your forearm. And then again, when you're done with both of your sets, you can rest into your child's pose. Maybe if you want to reach your arms down by your side, you can. Take some deep inhales and deep exhales. Go for one more inhale. 
And one more exhale. And then inhale, walk your hands in, roll up to have a seat on your heels. Go ahead and grab your strap or whatever quote unquote strap you're using. You're gonna place your strap over your right shoulder. I'm just gonna turn to face the back so you can see. Um, actually, before I turn to face the back, just bring your arms out towards uh, the side in a T position. And then really internally rotate your shoulders like you're rounding your upper spine. And then externally rotate, try and really turn your armpits up towards the ceiling. Go for, your, for a few more of that so you can really feel how your shoulder blades move. Now rotate your shoulders down your back. Pause here. Feel how your scapula can slide and engage down your back. Keep your scapula locked down and start to internally and externally rotate just in your arms so your shoulders don't move. Your shoulder blades are pushing down your back as if you're going to slide your shoulder blades into your back pocket and you're just flossing your arm bones within your shoulder socket. Good. Now come to a neutral position with your arm. Externally rotate, or sorry, internally rotate your left arm so your left arm spins in, your palm faces back. You're going to bend at your elbow and you're going to reach up to grab your strap. And then your right arm is going to reach up. Keep pressing your right shoulder down your back. This time you want to slightly externally rotate as you bend in your elbow to reach your strap behind you. Then from there, maybe you walk your fingers closer towards one another. Maybe you can grip and interlace your fingers. That's fine. But as I said, just going to keep moving forward and back, forward and back. As I said in your um, full bind for your extended side angle, careful, it's hard to see because I'm in a t-shirt, but careful that your shoulder doesn't internally rotate and drop down. You want to make sure that you're still rolling your shoulder back and you find a nice wide uh, chest. Good. And then also be wary of your ribs. Sometimes we like to arch in our ribs because that helps us bring our hand farther down, but then you're not isolating the stretch in your shoulder. You're making it in your ribs and your spine. So pull your ribs together and find a nice long spine as you start to pull your fingers towards one another. Good. Hold for one more inhale. And then exhale, slowly unwind. Allow your palms to face up. Pause for a moment. And then other side. Place your strap on your left side. Bring your arms, oh, let's see what's on the back. Bring your arms out towards the side. Internally rotate in your right arm and bend at your elbow to reach up your back. And then externally rotate in your left as you reach your arm up and over. Grab a hold of your strap and then walk your fingers as close as you can. Maybe you can grab a hold. Maybe the side feels a little bit tighter. That's okay. Just be aware that we're not dumping our right shoulder down and we're not arching in our ribs. So really zip your ribs together. Pull your elbows apart and away from one another. And some of us might find it more in our tricep. Some of us might find it more in our rotator cuff or in the tops of our shoulders. So wherever you feel the stretch the most, maybe you want to close your eyes and send your breath into where you feel your stretch. I know for me, this is my tighter side. It's totally normal to have one side tighter than the other. We don't want to pass judgment on our tighter side. We actually just want to send it a little bit more love. One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Bring your palms to face up. Pause for a moment. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and place your strap towards the side. Go ahead and come onto your stomach. We're going to come into a bow pose. So actually, before we do bow pose, let's just come into locus. So you're going to bring your arms down by your side. Palms are going to face down. Fingertips are going to face towards your toes. Now, tuck your tailbone under to lift in your lower abdominals. Squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale, lift your chest and your toes off of your mat. Pull your fingers down towards your, uh, your heel 
and keep pinching your shoulders together. So imagine you're in a cobra pose, but now you're lifting your legs. Keep squeezing your inner thighs. Pull your belly button in. Hold for one more inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Good. Stack your palms on top of one another and let your forehead rest. Inhale, bend your right knee, reach behind to grab your right foot, and then exhale, kind of like a dancer pose. So hold your foot on the hold your foot on the inside, and you're gonna press up into a single leg bow. Try and pull your left sh or your right shoulder down your back. Open up in your chest. Right foot is holding on to the inside of your uh, sorry, right hand is holding on to the inside of your right foot. Push your foot into your hand to lift your chest. And you can use your left forearm to push in to your mat to help lift. One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Right away to the other side. Bend your left knee. Reach your left hand behind on the inside of your left leg. Inhale, push into your foot. And then exhale, stay here and breathe. Grip into your lower abdominals. So just like you saw in your locust pose as you were tucking your tailbone under and engaging your inner thighs, it's going to be harder to do so in this pose, but keep the intention of tucking your tailbone under, gripping in your lower abdominals. Keep pushing your foot into your hand as you roll your shoulder down your back to opening your chest. One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower down, stack your palms. If you want to rock your hips from side to side, maybe you want to bend your knees and windshield wiper your feet from side to side to open your low back. <sighs> And now we're going into full bow pose. So if you feel like the full pose is too much, you can do either locust, which we did with our arms down by our side, or you can do half bow. If you're ready for full bow pose, you're going to bend your knee. You're going to reach your hands behind, holding onto the inside of your feet. Pinch your shoulders together. And then exhale, push your feet into your hands to lift your chest up. Really engage your lower abdominals and see if you can send your breath into your rib cage so you can expand your ribs wide and back together when you breathe instead of breathing in your belly and then that will rock your your bow back and forth hold for one more inhale and then exhale slowly lower down relax your arms down by your side and turn your right cheek to your mat sometimes that can really elevate your heart rate some of these deeper back bends <clears throat> And just take some deep ujjayi breaths. Maybe close your eyes. Do you feel like you have a lot of heat in your body and your breath is really high? You can take a couple exhales through your mouth. And we're going to go into bow pose one more time. A chance for the single leg bow pose to do the other side. Or if you were doing locust, you can do locust again. So bend your knees. Hold on to your feet. Maybe you want to try the outside of your feet just to see how that feels. Maybe not. Pinch your shoulders together, and then exhale, lift up, hold, and breathe. Pull your belly button in. Keep pinching your shoulder blades together. Keep pushing your foot into your hands. Hold here. Take two more full deep breaths. Expand your heart forward. Keep your lower abdominals nice and tight. One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Arms down by your side. Now turn your left cheek to your mat and rest. If you want to rock your hips from side to side or bend your knees, you can. One more inhale. And then exhale. Slowly bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up into, uh, into a seated position on your heels. So we've worked up to um, our final pose, wheel. Um, we'll do a round of bridge first, and then we'll go into wheel. But before you're on your back, I just want to show you how to um, safely get into wheel pose. And this is always optional. I know sometimes I have to be like a very specific type of warm to do wheel pose. So if you feel like you're not there yet, no stress. If you're going to do wheel pose, when we get there, your hands will go on your mat, fingers will face your shoulders. You'll tuck your tailbone and lift your hips up into bridge pose. From here, really make sure that your abdominals are nice and tight. 
Then you're going to lift to reach the top of your head to your mat. Keep squeezing your elbows in, and then from there, you'll straighten in your arms. And you really want to push your feet into your mat so you can try and press your hips back. And then you'll tuck your chin towards your chest and slowly roll down. So I'll talk you through it when we get there. Um, but for now, let's do a round of bridge. So bring your feet on your mat. Inhale your arms forward. And then exhale, slowly roll down. Tuck your tailbone. Articulate through your spine. Really pull your ribs forward or your arms forward so you can round in your upper spine. Nice and slow. And then pull your knees in towards your chest. Gentle rock from side to side. Maybe shake your head no. And then when you're ready, bring the, top, uh, the bottoms of your feet onto your mat. Inhale your arms down by your side. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under and start to peel your spine off of your mat one vertebrae at a time into your bridge pose. Usually I say to interlace your fingers and pull yourself into your bridge pose, but from here, I want you to stay and see if you can use your glutes and your ab muscles a little bit more. So keep tucking your pelvis under. Feel how your lower abdominals can really lift to help you tuck your pelvis, not just your glute muscles. Your glute muscles help, but I also want you to engage your lower abdominals so you can really tuck your pelvis under. So you want one long line from your knees all the way to your shoulders and making sure there's no you know, like speed bumps. It's just a smooth ramp all the way up your legs. One more inhale. And then exhale, tuck your tailbone under even more. Really push your spine down one vertebrae at a time as you slowly roll down. Keep tucking your tailbone under until it's the very last to touch. And the windshield wiper your knees from side to side, release your spine. So if you're going to do bridge pose, you can do that once more. If you're coming into wheel pose, you'll bring your hands onto your mat. Fingers face your shoulders. Scoop your tailbone under and exhale, bridge your hips up. Now lift your head so that the top crown of your head is on your mat. Take another inhale, squeeze your arms towards one another, and then exhale, start to press your hands into your mat so you're all the way up into your wheel pose. Yes, excellent. Nice, yogis. Good. Good. Again, send energy down into your feet so you can push your hips back behind you. Good. If you're in bridge pose, stay where you are and see if you can find even a deeper tuck of your pelvis. If you're in bridge pose and you want to interlace your fingers and then stretch your chest a little bit more, you're welcome to. Those who are on wheel, see if you can take two more breaths. And then when you're done with your exhale, you'll let your head roll down, tuck your chin, roll all the way down. And then your choice, you can hug your knees in towards your chest. If you'd rather bring the soles of your feet to your mat and just windshield wiper your knees, whatever kind of rest or relaxation you would like to do. Just take a moment, maybe it's just a simple squeeze of your legs. Good. And then we're going to come into um, whatever supine twist feels most comfortable for you. Um, if we're sticking with the um, heart opener, maybe you want to cactus your arms and then let both legs fall towards the side and turn your gaze towards your opposite arm. If you want to do a regular supine twist with one knee over, maybe you want to extend your foot. We've done the uh, pretzel stretch before where you roll to your side and then grab your, your uh, bottom leg. I'm not going to talk you through any of those, but whatever feels most appropriate for you. I'll tell you when to switch sides. Just stay here. <clears throat> Take some deep inhales and deep exhales. And then one more inhale. And then exhale, bring your knees over towards your other side, or your leg or legs. Just switch directions, switch sides for your stretch. Deep in. 
inhale, gently exhale. And then on your next breath, slowly unwind back onto your mat. One more hug, pull your knees in towards your chest. If you want to curl your shoulders off of your mat to really curl into a ball, you can. One more inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. You can extend your legs long, bring your arms down by your side. And take a moment to scan your body from head to toe. Remembering how you felt in the beginning of your practice and notice how you feel now. And your heart chakra color is green. So with your eyes closed, see if you can envision green. And if you can't envision anything green, or if you can't see a green color, envision something that's green. Maybe a tree, your favorite shirt, an apple. And breathe into your heart. Imagine pulling all of your energy up your legs, up your arms, up your stomach and your hips into your heart chakra, into your heart. And I'll give you a few more moments on your own. Keep envisioning green. Keep sending your energy to fill into your heart. Yogis, if you have the gift of time and you'd like to stay where you are for a little bit longer, please honor yourself and do so. If you're ready to complete your practice, you can send some energy into your fingers and your toes. Maybe start to circle your hands and your feet. If it feels comfortable, you can stretch your arms overhead pulling your fingers and toes away from one another. And then when you're ready, roll towards one side. Let your arm be your pillow. Just pause for a moment. Keep your spine and your head soft as you start to use your hands to push yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Just like we did in the beginning, go ahead and place your palms on your heart. Just close your eyes. Feel the warmth of your palms stacked on top of one another. Feel the warmth of your palms on your shirt or your chest. We'll take three deep breaths to seal our practice. Exhale your air out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. 
Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One more inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Bring your palms to touch, your thumbs rest your, on your breastbone. Bring your thumbs to your third eye, bow forward. Thank yourself for making it to your mat to work on your mind, your body, and spirit. Until next time, namaste. Thank you, yogis.